Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blair. Welcome to my beauty space. So for today's video, I want to do a first impression on a brand that I've never been tried before. So the brand I got is Cap Cosmetics. So this is a brand I believe founded by Kim Bierman. I think she used to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think she has her own show, Don't Be Tardy. Well, it's not I think, I know, because I watch her show, Don't Be Tardy. And I watch some of her appearances on Real Housewives of Atlanta as well. So I know that she has two daughters, Brielle and Irona. So they together founded the brand Cab Cosmetics. And K-A-B each stands for their first name initial. I've been eyeing this brand for a while now because I look at some of the pictures i look at some of the swatches i'm like they're really pretty but i was always so hesitant because of the price point because this lip kit alone is retail for 45 dollars um you do get a lot of stuff which i will go into in details um soon but i still feel like for a new brand especially this brand is made in china i just felt like 45 dollars is a lot that's why I never really, you know, take the plunge when they were, you know, full price. So a month, maybe two months ago now, when Fat Fit Fun has their spring sale, I saw those kits in the sale section and they were $19 each. So I was like, oh my gosh, now it's the time to snatch it up and do a review for you guys. So I got two lip kits. The first one I got is glazed. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is the best um, color on their website, like the best seller. So I'm really excited. Then I also got the color Sugar and the Spice. I follow Brill on her Instagram and I think this color is the color that she wears a lot. So I'm like, let me just get the two most popular shade and do a review slash first impression for you guys and a swatch it for you guys. So yeah, if you want to know my thoughts on the Cap Cosmetics lip kit, just please keep watching. Alright, so let's start with the lip kit called Glazed. This color is their best seller and I saw the pictures on Instagram with girls who have different skin tones. They all wear this one so beautifully, so I'm like, this is such a good shade because I love a universal shade that looks good on everybody. So once you open it up, here is the inside. So you have these cute words here. So I love that. And then you have your four products. So in each lip kit, you do get four products. You have a lip liner, you have a lip sharpener, you have a lipstick, then you have a liquid lip. And to be honest, I feel like the liquid lip packaging looks very similar to the NARS packaging. I'll put a picture here. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. First, let's start with the lip liner. Honestly, I feel like the quality of the lip liner is a little, you know, on the cheaper side. It just doesn't feel like it's a high quality lip liner, like the cap and stuff. So I guess we'll just see how it applies. So first, glaze. This is a color right here. Uh, I think this lip liner is a little too stiff. Like it doesn't feel creamy. It doesn't feel like soft. I feel like you could buy a Morphe lip liner for $4 and it will be creamier than this lip liner. So I don't know. I'm not really a fan of this lip liner. It's too stiff. I do like this color though. This is a really good color. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I just say it on my lips then. By the way, I'm currently wearing the Huda Beauty Liquid Lip in the shade Trend Setter. I'll put a picture here. I will have a Huda haul including lip swatches, so stay tuned for that. Also, do you guys like my nails? Those are the, um, how do you call it, like fake nails, the glue ones. I got from um, Case, uh, no, Impression Nails, and it's a collaboration with the fashion house Rebecca Minkoff. I'll put a picture here. I took a picture with the box of the nail. I really like it. 
Right now, I couldn't get my nails done, so those are literally saving my life. All right, so now I'm going to put this lip liner on my lips for you guys. Oh my god, this lip liner is really stiff. It's really hard to put on the color. Ay, yeah, yeah, this is not a good start. Yeah, I don't like this lip liner. You can get a Morphe lip liner that's literally so much better than this. And it's only $4. Yeah, this is a lip liner. I want to fill my whole lips with this lip liner, but then it's too stiff. I don't think I even want to try it. So I'm just gonna line my lip. That's it. Even that, I feel like it's not pigmented. Yeah, this is not it. I'm sorry, but I don't like this lip liner. Right, moving on, I'm going to try on the liquid lip in the shade Glazed. So this is a packaging. I like this packaging. Let's see this one. Okay, so here is a wand. It's obviously kind of like a small wand. I just, I don't like this kind of wand. But let's see the color. Ooh, this color is pretty. But I just feel like the wand could be made so much better you know this is just too small it's hard to you know put a product but i do like this color though and i do like the texture of this liquid lip it's almost like a cream type of texture so that's nice so let me put on my lips and see Mm, I don't know. This looks very like cheapy look. I'm not going to lie. This is just don't really like the texture on my lips. It looks nice on the back of my hand, but somehow when I apply on my lip, did you see that? It's kind of like separating already. Yeah, this is not it either. I mean, I like this color, especially now I'm tanner. I feel like this looks really good with a tan skin. But if you look close up, I feel like the color is already kind of separating. I personally think that you can get a better like texture from the NYX cream. I'll pull a picture here. That one is how much? Like $7 or something. So yeah, this, I just feel like... It looks really promising on the back of my hand, but somehow when it applies on my lips, it's just, it just stays there and separating. But if you look from further away, I guess that's okay. But if you want to do like a close up shot, I'm sorry, I'm just, I just felt like they could do a little better. So this one, I wouldn't call it a fail, but. I don't really recommend it either. All right, lastly, we have this lipstick right here. I really love this packaging. So let's see the lipstick. Ooh, I like this color. It's a really cute color. So let's see. Please don't let me down. Okay, so here is the color. Okay, I'd say that swatch wise is not bad. But if you charge $45 for the whole kit, I would expect the texture to be creamier. But this one, I think is the best out of the three lip products here. Creaminess of it and the texture, the color. So let me take off this liquid lip and then I'm going to put the lipstick on alone just to see how it looks on my lips. Alright, so now this is my bare lips. I'm going to try again with this lip liner because I just want to give it another chance. So here. This is what it looks like. I guess once you have a little moisture on your lips, 
in this case i use like a moisturizing wipes and then now it has a little moisture on my lips i feel like the application is a little bit better it's not so so just like scratchy but in terms of the pigmentation, I still expect more. Like I said already, if Morphe charges $4, can do a really creamy lip liner. I feel like there's no excuse, you know? So yeah, I, I'm not really a fan of this lip liner. But if you do have this lip liner, I suggest you put a lip balm first, then put it on. So that way it's creamier than before. So yeah, now let's go into the lipstick. All right, here we go. All right, so here, this is what this lipstick looks like on my face. Actually, this lipstick probably is the best out of the three lip products because I think the application is pretty smooth, it's pretty battery. On top of that, the color payoff is pretty nice, but um, if I look closely, you can see it's kind of like sitting on my lips a little bit. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but nowadays with a lot of super creamy lipstick, it literally just melts into your lip. I feel like this one is kind of like sitting on my lips a little bit and it feel a little waxy. But all in all, I still think this is a pretty good lipstick. It's definitely the best out of the three and I do like this color. So yeah, this is the glazed lip kit. Well, I guess not the full lip kit because we still have this pencil sharpener right here. I actually really like this pencil sharpener, but um, if you feel the texture, you know the plastic is pretty light. So if you ever tried a NARS lip sharpener or like an Anastasia lip sharpener, I feel like this one still is not as good as them. I understand NARS and Anastasia's, they're both luxury kind of level and they're both in the game for a long time. So Cab is a new brand, so I'm willing to cut some slack. But from a cost perspective, even a pencil sharpener from Anastasia is only $6. So the whole kit, they charge $45. And the lip liner, you can buy one from Morphe for $4. And that's pretty good then pencil sharpener you can buy from Anastasia for $6. So the total of those two are only $10. That means that the lipsticks and the liquid lip from the K worth $35. And I don't think, you know, you need to spend $35 on those two products. You can find better, you know, products from MAC, from Kylie, from those of colors, from NARS. So yeah, all in all, I feel like don't buy it full price because I don't think it's worth it but since i bought it for less than 20 dollars on fat fit fun sale section i think it's worth it because i get four products and i do like the design even though it's a little light but i don't mind so yeah i like this pencil sharpener all right so now let's move on to the second lip kit and it is called sugar and spice and I saw Braille wear this one a lot. That's why I'm like, I wanna try it. So once you open it up, it's the same layout with the pencil, sharpener, and liquid lip and the lipstick. And this also says, people will stare, make it worth their while. I like that. So let's start with the pencil again. Hopefully this one is better. And I'm going to swatch it right here. Okay, this color is definitely more of a mauve tone color compared with glaze. Let me just swatch right here. See the difference? However, it's still really dull. It's still really harsh. It's not creamy at all. So I really don't like this pencil, but let's try it out just to see the color. Mm, I like this color and I feel like this color is more pigmented when applied on my lips as well So that's a plus. I still think you can find better pencils on morphe.com, but this one is not that bad 
So yeah, I do really like this color. Now moving on to the liquid lipstick. And here is the liquid lipstick right here. Again, I like this packaging. So let's open her up. I'm going to put it right here. Ooh. Is it me or do you guys also think that this color is very similar to glazed? It feels like it falls into the same family. This might be even a little bit lighter. So let's see it on my lips. Alright, so this is a local lipstick in the shade of Sugar and the Spice. I like this color as well, but I think it's very close to glazed, so I don't think you need both. Just pick one you like it better. This one maybe have a little bit pink sheen to it, but still it's very nude just by the swatch, as you guys can see right here. And I have the same problem with this one as with the glazed because I just think this lipstick kind of just sits on the lip instead of melting to your lip. I feel like even Maybelline liquid lip or lip gloss is better than this. I know I might sound a little harsh, but I want to, you know, do a really like unbiased review. I do like their show. I'm not a hater of them whatsoever. So I just personally feel like if they are going to charge $45, for this kid, I expect better quality. I feel like you can find a Maybelline, you know, lipstick or liquid lip that's better than this. So that's why I just, I just don't recommend you guys buy it full price. If you really want it, buy it from Fat Fit Fun Sale, buy it from their website sale, cause the quality is not like really matching up with the price point. Sorry to say that, but. That's just how I really feel. So here we have the lipstick. I really like this design. I like this gray packaging. It's pretty cute. And I feel like the design kind of reminds me of Bobbi Brown. But obviously Bobbi Brown used better material. This one is all plastic. But also Bobbi Brown charges $34 for a lipstick. So yeah, let's put color right here. right this color and this color are so similar but this definitely has more of a pink sheen to it so yeah i guess i just need to put on my lips and show you guys all right so this is my bare lips and this time i'm going in directly with a lipstick without lip liner so here we go so this is a color I definitely don't think this color is for me because it has a pink undertone and I'm super tan right now so it kind of clashes with my skin tone. So yeah, if you have similar skin tone as me or even like darker skin tone, I don't know. I don't think this color will look good. This color is definitely for like fair to light skin tone with a cool undertone. As for the texture, oh, I don't like this texture. Close up, look at that. It's just, there's nothing creamy melting to your lips and I feel kind of waxy. I feel like it's almost like wax on top of my lips. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. I'm sorry, but I don't really like it. Oh, this is so sad because I have high hopes. I was so excited when I saw the lip case are on sale in the Fat Fit Fun section. But now after I tried it, I just feel like even though I paid like $19, I would rather just use that $19, buy a ColourPop lipstick, buy a Morphe lip liner, than buy an Anastasia pencil sharpener, you know? I just, I feel like even for $19, I kind of feel like I have better options. So let's just last try to put this one on top and see if it's gonna make it a little better. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Definitely looks weird with a lip liner, I have to say that, because the lip liner is darker, so it definitely outlines your whole lip. Without the lip liner, it just feels like I don't have lips. So I don't like that look. However, I do like how it layers. I feel like by layering this on top of the lipstick does make the look better and it makes the lips juicier. 
and I do like this liquid lipstick like I like how it looks when it's layered on top of the lipstick so yeah if you are you know thinking about getting it I'd say that well, it depends on you. If you like them, you want to support them. I think the packaging is cute. I think this, you know, liquid lipstick looks pretty good on top of the original lipstick. But it kind of looks weird on its own. So, honestly, I just don't know. I just feel like this formula, I just feel like it's a little difficult to work with. So, I would not buy it full price. There's no way. For me, I bought it at $19 a kit which is okay, like I'm not hating it, but I still feel like I could spend that money getting something from the drugstore and be really, really happy with it. So yeah, I guess today's first impression is kind of a fail in some ways because I don't really like the performance of the products. I do like the pencil sharpener, but again, I can just spend $6 buy an Anastasia one that's like so good made in Germany. So, I feel like this might be a first, but I don't really recommend these lip kits. I would never recommend to you guys if it's full price. If it's 50% off, you know, it's your choice. So yeah, this is my, you know, first impression on the Cap Cosmetics lip kits in the shade Glaze and the Sugar and the Spice. This is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like today's video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to leave me a comment down below with your suggestion for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video.